this mini series, we've been talking about coping with unpleasant emotions and using control strategies to do so. We've also been talking about when might it be time to swap out those control strategies for something that is more sustainable and healthier for our well-being. So if you have not yet watched those first two parts of this series, I'm going to leave the links here for you, so check those out before you dive into this one. Today we're diving into this different way of responding to our emotions. So we're no longer just constantly engaging in this internal struggle all the time. So let's dive in. As odd as it may sound, our experiences, both internal and external, are just not the real problem here. Which is why in this video I'm sharing with you a secret. And in fact, I don't want it to be a secret. So please like this, share it with family and friends, whomever you think is going to benefit. When it comes to dealing with our emotions, by far the biggest problem that we have is avoiding them, judging them, fighting with them all the time, we're trying to push them away. If you've been following along with the series at all, then you know that this is where those control strategies come into play. These are basically when we're trying to force ourselves to either not feel or to feel a certain way. Let's just think about this for a second. Imagine you wake up and you're just not feeling your best. Maybe you woke up groggy or you're just kind of sad today, maybe a little bit down, just kind of half a bubble off. It's also gloomy outside, maybe you have a huge to do list, not feeling super motivated. It's just one of those days. And now you catch yourself feeling this way and you start to judge and question. Maybe you say things like, why am I feeling this way? I have no reason to be feeling this way. Why can't I just be happy? This line of thinking kind of takes you down this downward spiral, feeling sad or gloomier than you already were feeling. But what if, instead of going down that rabbit hole of questioning and judging, what if you acknowledge the feeling? What if you made space for it to, to be there, to be felt, to be heard, to be understood? What if you acknowledge that experiencing emotions, even the unpleasant ones, was just a normal part of the human experience? Can you imagine the type of freedom that you would feel if you responded to every single emotion in that way? So yeah, if I have not yet made it clear already, the secret sauce to managing or just coping with our emotions that we have on a daily basis is acceptance. When we begin to accept our emotions rather than constantly struggling with them, we're kind of making space or laying the groundwork for being able to live a life according to our values. We're basically allowing ourselves the opportunity to have the life that we want to have. Now, I want to be crystal clear about something. Just because we are accepting the difficult things in our life, that does not mean that we no longer feel the difficult things. Acceptance is not a cure-all and it's not a control strategy. Practicing acceptance is not a formula for just never feeling unpleasant emotions or thinking unpleasant thoughts. That's just not the way the human body works. When we accept the current reality without judgment, when we're no longer giving weight to those unhelpful narratives running through our mind, we're basically interrupting the vicious cycle that we've been talking about in this series. Yes, we're still gonna have triggers, and yes, these triggers are likely still gonna lead to thoughts or emotions that are not super pleasant, but instead of getting stuck there and judging and fighting and trying to push it away, we're going to accept that that is our present reality. We'll accept what is going on in our body and in our mind and we move forward. In future videos, I'm gonna be doing a rundown of various acceptance practices or acceptance techniques. So stay tuned and I'll see you there.